Hi guys and welcome to the market review for Dubai property market. In this video, I'm going to discuss about what happened in Dubai real estate market in quarter one of 2023. We're also going to discuss about March 2023, the total volume of transactions, total number of transactions. We're going to discuss about the top areas of quarter one 2023 and March 2023 and an important question of how are Dubai's prime property prices as compared to the major cities around the world. So without keeping you guys waiting, let's begin this episode. First up, we're going to talk about transactions in quarter one of 2023 from January 1 to March 31st. We have had a total volume of transactions for 127.55 billion dirhams. So over 100 billion dirhams of transactions happened just in the first quarter of 2023 where all the people were people were, were speculating that the buy property prices are going to go down and all. We had almost the best quarter ever in the buy real estate market. There were 42,000 properties which were sold, 42,317 properties to be exact in just one quarter in Dubai real estate market. The top three areas of this quarter were Palm Jumeirah on number one, number two Dubai Creek Harbour and number three Business Bay. So Dubai Creek Harbour and Business Bay are two of the most uh, good areas to look at when you're looking to buy a property. They are really good for investments because these are developing areas and already in top five areas in Dubai already. So top three areas of the quarter, Palm Jumeirah, Dubai Creek and Business Bay. These are in terms of the total volume of transactions that happened in these areas. Now, if we talk about March, we had total volume of transactions worth 48.7 billion dirhams and we had 17,000 transactions, 17,086 to be precise, just in the month of March, which is 20% more than what we had in Feb. By the way, Feb was the best Feb ever happened in the buy real estate market in terms of volume of transactions and number of transactions. And this time March has 20% more than what was there in Feb. How are these transactions categorized specifically about March? 32.72 billion dirhams worth of sales, normal sale transactions, 13.31 billion dirhams of mortgage transactions and 2.64 billion dirhams of gift transactions. The top three areas specifically for March were number one, Dubai Creek Harbor, number two, Palm Jumeirah and number three, downtown Dubai. So overall, the top five areas or top six areas of Dubai, they always remain downtown, Palm Jumeirah, Dubai Creek, Business Bay, Dubai Marina and JVC. These are like, you know, the top five areas always in terms of rental properties, in terms of sale properties and just, you know, the role between them in every month and every quarter. The important question which I'm going to discuss is how are Dubai's prime property prices as compared to around the world, the major cities around the world. So I came across this recent news article where it said specifically that Dubai prime property prices are 80% cheaper as compared to global cities around the world, even after the two year rise. So we see that the prices are rising, the index is rising since 2022 after the COVID-19 uh, crisis around the world. But even after that rise, where people are saying that no, the buying property prices are too high. By the way, they are already lower than the peak. The, they haven't reached the peak yet, which was there in October 2014, I guess. And in 2021, we are still lower than that peak and a lot lower. We, have, we haven't reached near to that peak at all. And of course, there, there are always times when you break the peak of property prices. But yes, if I look at the two year rise specifically, even after the prices are rising, we're still 80 up to 80% lower as compared to the global cities around the world. If I move on to this, this article, the first paragraph says prime property prices in Dubai are cheaper by 20 to 80 percent when compared to major cities around the world such as Monaco, Hong Kong, New York, London, Geneva, Paris, Beijing, Tokyo, etc. Uh, despite a massive increase in rates during the post pandemic period. This is this this is the important thing that even after the prices are rising, where people are saying that the price that Dubai is too overpriced at the moment, how the hell is it overpriced when it's 20 to 80 percent cheaper than are the, the properties around the world? Plus, there is no taxation in Dubai. You're not paying any taxes on the property. You're not paying any taxes on the rental income. It gives you one of the highest ROIs around the world. So how is Dubai expensive? But if we look at the next paragraph, we are seeing that seeing the report of 
how much per square meter or how much square meters can fetch you when you're spending $1 million. So if you look at Dubai, you're gonna get 105 square meters of space if you are spending a million dollars, which is approximately 3.7 million dirhams. But yes, in dollars, 105 square meters we can get in Dubai. Now, if we compare it to the cities around the world, how much can we get in the cities around the world? Let's talk about Monaco, 17 square meters. 21 square meters in Hong Kong, 33 square meters in New York, 34 square meters in London, 43 square meters in Paris, 60 square meters in Tokyo and 87 square meters in Melbourne. These, these major cities around the world are nowhere near as to where Dubai is. We are getting 105 square meters of space when we are spending a million dollars uh, in properties. I don't understand why people say Dubai is expensive. Again. One of the safest cities around the world. No taxation. You're getting pro. You're owning property is 100%. You're getting ROIs from 8% to 20% as well in different in different rental formats. You, everything is provided in Dubai. Prime property prices have increased. We are seeing the most expensive rental transaction. We are seeing the most expensive property is being built here. We are seeing the high net worth individuals moving to Dubai. People buying a 600 million dirham. Uh, property in Palm Jumeirah. They're buying a 410 million dirham penthouse in Bulgari Islands, which just happened in this quarter as well. 410 million dirhams worth of penthouse was sold in Bulgari Islands uh, in Bulgari Lighthouse. A nine bedroom penthouse, which, which is for 410 million. If people like these, which are high net worth individuals, are putting their faith in Dubai, they know that yes, even if they're spending 410 million, it's still comparatively cheaper than what they would get in around in the major cities around the world like new york like in, uh, like london so this is the time to put faith in dubai even uh, even whatever is happening around the world even if the crisis are happening dubai's property price property prices are still very very reasonable they're still very very good and the market is not stopping at all i would say that even if there is a global crisis still the market won't crash there is no crash it's not going to crash by 50 percent unless and until there is a huge uh, you know, uh, even if the crisis like 2008 crisis, still uh, after 2000 crisis, 2008 crisis, still Dubai started picking up in 2009. So Dubai is Dubai is centrally located. All the people around the world come to Dubai. You have to look at all the pointers. People from India, people from UK, people from Russia, uh, even people from Germany now have started investing a lot in Dubai. People from China have started investing a lot, a lot in Dubai. So if all the people around the world are investing in the Middle East, in specifically in Dubai, if, if I'm talking about, what's stopping you from investing in Dubai? You have all the details online everything is transparent you're seeing all these transactions online and it's one of the safest cities to live in safety is something really very important for all of us and of course safety and price point price point dubai is 20 to 80 percent cheaper than the major cities around the world and in terms of safety one of the safest cities in the world to live in what more do you want from dubai plus there is no taxation again so these are the major things why I recommend everybody to look at Dubai as their, uh, even as their primary home because the lifestyle which you get in Dubai, it's not matchable around a lot of cities around the world, a lot of major cities as well. Life, good lifestyle plus the safety. So this is like a great combination to have when you're living uh, in this world. Yeah, so this was from my side particularly. We discussed about the total number of transactions in the quarter. We discussed about the total number of transactions and volume of transactions in, in specifically March. Uh, we discussed about the top areas and how Dubai property prices rank as compared to around prices around the world. They are 20 to 80% cheaper than, pri uh, than primary properties around the world in major cities. So if you want more information about Dubai property market, if you want more information on how to invest in Dubai property market, how much to invest in Dubai property market and where to invest in Dubai property market, you can write down in the comments. If you have any opinions about Dubai property market, you can write down in the comments as well. I'll see you guys until next time. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe the video if you like.